Now that we're in the field, we can start taking our soil health samples. This video is going to cover how we take soil core samples, and there's another video that covers how we take aggregate stability samples. Make sure you watch them both. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to try we're going to try to find a row. There's not a lot of row here, but we'll try to stay in it. Um, and then we're going to move any like debris that's at the top. And then we're going to take our probe and we're going to push down to that six inch mark that we made before. There we go. We'll pull it up carefully. We don't want to lose any soil. There's a little extra here. And then we can push it up into the barrel just to make sure that nothing's compacted or been lost. Uh, that looks pretty good. So I'll tip it into our bucket here. And that's our first sample. We need to take 10 samples across a, kind of a 15 foot radius circle. So we'll take another one here and then we'll go out like a five on a die. So I'll do two in this corner, two in this corner, two in that corner, and two over there. So a total of 10. That way we get the volume of soil we need for the lab. Now that we've got our 10 soil cores, we're gonna put them into our sample bag. And that ends up being about this much soil in a one gallon bag, which should be enough for the lab to do what they need to do. Seal it up. And then we're gonna put it in our backpack. This is mostly to keep it out of the sun because if the bag is out in the sun, it might solarize and that could change the measurements that you're gonna end up with in the lab. All right, good luck sampling.